what I'm going to do. I'm in so much trouble, and this is just terrible. <laughs> hey there, what's going on? What's, what, what, what's the matter with you? Looks like somebody ran over your dog. They didn't run over your dog, did they? No. I, uh... I failed my spelling test. <laughs> your spelling test? Well, <laughs> who cares about that? That's just a spelling test. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Oh, <laughs> what could happen to you for failing a spelling test? My mom's gonna crown me for a week. That means no video games and no TV and a week. <laughs> I used to get in trouble, they'd ground me for a month. <laughs> Don't worry about it, kid. Just, you just, yeah, just get over it. <laughs> Welcome to the Digital Kid Zone. My name's Greg and it's great to have you with us today. Today, I have a friend of mine. My friend Scruffy, this is his bag, uh, decided to join us today for our Kid Zone. So let's see if we can get him out. Sometimes he turns flips in his bag. Oh, I think I found him. There we go. All right, Scruff, you ready to come out? You're not ready to come out? Well, everybody's waiting. We kind of kind of need you to come out. You think you can come out? No. Are you just messing with me? You are. So you're going to come out? You're not coming out? Sometimes when Scruffy does this, we have to tickle him. So I'm going to tickle you if you're not going to come out. Are you going to come out? No? Okay. On the count of three, I'm going to tickle him. One, two, three. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> are you going to come out? All right, this is my friend Scruffy. Hey Scruff, how you doing? You doing good? M much better now? Have you had a, a rough couple of days or something? You have? Well, uh, did, did you get in trouble? No, you didn't get in trouble. Have you been feeling bad? No. Well, why have you had a rough couple of days? Oh, okay, well. Is there anything we can do about it? No, 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 no. Okay. Scruffy said he's been worried about something, and uh, he wants us to check his heart, and that way we can see what it is he's been worrying about. Scruff has a special little heart pocket, and so it's easy for us to see what he's feeling and what's going on in Scruff, and so we're going to flip him over. All right, hang still. He has a special heart pocket right here, so we can see what it is. It's going on with Scruffy to see why he's not had kind of, what, what? <laughs> you got a phone charger in your heart. You, why do you have, okay, hang on. Put your heart back and we'll figure out why Scruff has a heart, a heart. He has a phone charger in his heart. It can't be comfortable. All right, Scruff. There we go. Okay, can you tell me why you have a phone charger in your heart? It's your mom's phone charger? Okay. So why do you have your mom's phone charger in your heart? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a good thing. That it phone, He said he uh, needed to charge his mom's cell phone that he was watching a video on. Well, that's a good thing. So what, what does having a phone charger in your heart, why does that make you have a bad day? Ooh. He said he lost his mom's phone charger two days ago. Without a phone charger, it's kind of hard to charge a phone, isn't it? Yeah. So I, I'm assuming that you found it, apparently. Finally, he found it. Yep. So, so that's why you've had a bad day or a, a rough couple of days is because you lost your mom's phone charger. Well, that's a, that can be kind of stressful. I can understand that. Well, I'm not going to laugh about it. He said sometimes people laugh when he worries about stuff like a phone charger. Well, you know what? We all worry about different things. Just because it's something that somebody else thinks is not a very big deal, it's still a big deal, deal to you, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? God cares about our little stuff just like he cares about the big stuff. He does. He really does. I'll tell you what. 
let's look at a story in the Bible that I think helps us see that God really does care, even about the little things. Okay, there was a prophet named Elisha. Have you heard of Elisha before? No. Well, Elisha was a pretty famous prophet in the Old Testament. He did some pretty big things, some big miraculous things that God let him do. But he worked with some prophets that, well, they didn't do quite as big a things as they did as he did. They still uh, shared God's message with people, but they weren't as well known. They didn't do as big a things as, as Elisha did because he did some big stuff. But these men worked with Elisha, um, and the place where they were meeting, well, it got too small. There were too many of them. And so they decided they were going to build a new place to meet. And so they went down by the river and they invited Elisha to come with them and they started cutting down some trees. You know what they cut the trees down with? Not, not chainsaws. They used an axe. Maybe something like, well, like that. Yeah, can you see it? Alright, yeah. So they used an axe. And so one of the men, one of the prophets, he was chopping down the tree and the, the top of his axe, we call that the axe head, the metal part, the cutting part, it fell off and it fell in the water. Uh -oh. Well, he couldn't really pick it up because it was in the Jordan River and it sank down to the bottom. And so the problem was, it was not his axe. <laughs> yeah, it was not his. The Bible tells us in 2 Kings chapter 6 that the man cried out to Elisha. He said, it was a borrowed axe. And so now, He's lost the top, the important part of the axe that belonged to somebody else. Now, to other people, well, you know, they might not have thought that was a big deal, but it was a big deal to this man. Yeah, it was. And so what did Elisha do? Did, she, did Elisha laugh at him? No, Elisha didn't laugh at him. He told him, he said, where did it fall? Show me where it was in the river. And so they looked down, and the man pointed out where it was, and the Bible says that Elisha took a stick... Yeah, look, I know it's a chopstick. I didn't have a real stick with me, okay? But he took a stick, and he threw it into the Jordan River, and you know what happened? That iron axe head, that heavy iron axe head, it floated up to the top of the Jordan River. And Elisha told him to pick it up, and he did. That was pretty incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. You know what that tells me, though? God cares about us so much, He even cares about the little things. Well, Elisha did it, but God allowed him. God gave him the power to do that. Elisha didn't have any power outside of what God gave him. Um, and so we can know from that story that God cares about us. You're not sure? Well, okay, let's think about it this way. That story happens in, in 2 Kings chapter 6. Right before that story is the story of Naaman and how Elisha did something with God's power that took the leprosy, the sickness, away from him. It's a big story. Naaman was a very important general. It was a big deal that he was cured from his leprosy. Not only that, he started to believe in God. That was pretty neat, huh? And right after the story of the floating axe head, as it's known, is a story of a of a great army that came up and surrounded Elisha and kind of the battle that followed and those kind of things. It was a big story. But right between those two big stories is this story about a floating axe head. Yeah. And so it was a big deal to the man. And so it was a big deal to God. You know what? There is a verse. Let's look it up. There's a verse in 1 Peter chapter 5. Verse 7, all right, here's what it says. Watching? Okay. It says, cast all your anxieties on Him, for He cares for you. You know what anxieties are? You, okay, <laughs> anxieties are your worries. Yeah. Cast your worries on Him. You know who Him is? Yeah, <laughs> Him is God. That's right. So cast, give God your worries, because He what? Because He cares for you. Yeah, God cares for you. And it doesn't matter how big or how little your worry is, God will take it. God cares about the big stuff and the little stuff. And we see that in the story 
of Elisha and the prophet and the floating axe head. So do you think God cares when you're worried about your lost phone charger? He does. He cares about you. And so all of the things that we worry about, it's, it's important to God because we are important to God. So we have to remember to give our worries to God. And we also have to remember to keep up with our mom's phone charger, right? That's right. All right. I don't. My mom's gonna be so mad. Hey, Georgie, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Oh, I can tell something's going on with you. You're usually a lot more happy. Oh, it's just silly. You're just gonna laugh. I'm not gonna laugh. Just let me know what's going on. I, well, I failed my spelling test and now my mom's gonna be really mad. I'm gonna be grinding for every. Hey, 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 hang on. I, I don't speak gibberish. Slow it down. Tell me what's going on. Well, you see, I failed my spelling test and my mom's gonna be mad and I'm gonna get grounded and it's just gonna ruin the whole week. Uh, did you study? Well, yeah, I've studied. I just I couldn't remember. Well, does your mom usually punish you for stuff like that? What do you mean? Well, everybody makes mistakes, everybody messes up. We're just learning. Does your mom usually punish you for stuff like that? Well, no. So, uh, why do you think she's gonna ground you for a week? I, I don't know. Tell you what, why don't you talk to your mom and explain what happens? You, th you think that would work? Well, does your mom usually listen to you? Yeah, but I don't normally fail a spelling test. Tell you what, pray, then go talk to your mom. Pray? God doesn't care about my spelling test. Why would I pray? Actually, God does care about your spelling test because it's important to you. Pray, then go talk to your mom. Well, okay, thanks. No problem. All right, it's time to look at some of the challenge pictures that you sent in this week. Uh, this week's challenge was to send in pictures of something big. If you'll remember our last episode, we talked about David and Goliath and how God is bigger than any problem that we have. And so your, your challenge was to send some pictures that, are, that were big. And so here's what we've got this week. This picture is Addie, and she is underneath a giant dragonfly. Next is a video from Aiden and Aubrey as they act out the big story of Noah's Ark. All right, here's your challenge for next week. Next week, we're going to be starting a brand new series called On the Road with Paul. Okay, It's going to kind of be a travel series. We're hoping to have a lot of fun with it as we look at Paul and some of the journeys and adventures and things that happened to Paul. And so here's your challenge. I want you to take a picture of you somewhere else. Picture if you've been on a trip. Uh, and you've got a picture of you on, in some other town or at the beach or at the mountains or maybe you just went to the park in town, somewhere other than at your house, send us a picture of you on a travel, on a journey, okay? And we're going to use those pictures to kick off our next episode as we start our new series, On the Road with Paul. All right, thanks so much for being with us this week for the Digital Kid Zone. Uh, we're going to have a prayer and then the day is yours. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all that you do. We thank you for the love that you have for us and the care that you have. Lord, we know that you care about all of us and everything that goes on. There's nothing too big or too small that you don't care about in our lives. And we thank you for the story of the floating axe head that we looked at today. A simple story that probably people skip over, but Lord, we know from that story and from in verses like uh, 1 Peter how much that you care for us. 
And Lord, we say, we say thank you for that. We pray for your blessings on those uh, that are sick and in hurt. Lord, we pray that for peace in our world. We thank you so much for Jesus. And it's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right. I hope you have a great day.